All right, I want everybody to stay calm. If the thought of a visit to the dentist leaves you ready to run full speed in the other direction, take a deep breath. There's hope. Dr. Charles Martin joins us this morning to talk about sedation dentistry. Yeah, I'm, I imagine in your profession you see that every once in a while. Well, yeah, too often, unfortunately. Yeah, people are actually scared to death of a dentist, and I would understand that in little children and older adults. Mm -hmm. I would think in the middle that it, dentistry's come so far right. that the Generation Y people never had the terrible experiences that a lot of baby boomers have, and then, of course, little children are scared because they're little children. Well, mostly, the, the, in talking about those groups, the millennials or Generation Y, the, mm -hmm. the teens and 20-somethings, that they don't have that problem. Mm -hmm. But the people who do have the problem are the boomers, uh, the silent generation, and, and the Gen Xers, yeah. who did not have that kind of history, maybe, as a child. Uh, and so, you know, what sedation dentistry does is it takes that anxiety edge off to make it make the experience tolerable actually to the point we've had many people who had required sedation dentistry at first realize they didn't have to have it later on but that's putting the cart before the horse what happens is if the person my point is if a person is fearful has a lot of anxiety sedation in the dentistry allows them to get the care they need comfortably all right anything new that uh, has happened in the last year or so or a couple well, of years what's happened new is that that we now ha have honed in the medications we use for the sedation. We've honed in understanding what are the quote, quote, fear factors that people have to deal with. And now we're able to often, just with a, a, a little pill, essentially, uh, take that edge off and create uh, virtually anxiety-free dentistry. So folks come in to you, and I know from, from visiting with you and talking to you, that when they come in, it's not just, you just don't go straight in and sit in the chair. That there's the consultation, mm -hmm. that you actually find out what the person wants, right. needs, and can handle. When they come in for that, uh, are people uh, upfront about the fact that they're afraid, or that they, you know, or do, they, do you have to fish that out sometimes? Most patients will tell you, look, I have a problem with dentistry. I have a problem being in your chair. It's nothing personal, doc but I have a problem being in your chair. And uh, so we, okay, so we know that that's from some memory. Say, when a person has a bad event occur to them, I don't care what it is, mm -hmm. dentistry, anything in life, you, what happens is the flight or fight sim syndrome occurs, right. okay? And so you, what you get is more adrenaline occurring. Well, that adrenaline locks in the memory of that event. So if anyone in America who experienced 9-11 that memory isn't going away. Yeah. That was locked in for the in, for our entire nation. But if you have an event when you're a small child, you can't understand it. You know what's going on. It locks it in. So we're able to help destimulate that, help them, a person understand what that was. And then, even though a person says it rationally, I know I need to come and I know I need to do this, but emotionally I can't handle it. We're able to help them handle the emotional part that's been stopping them. Let's take a look at the before and after, because I always enjoy this part of your segment here. Tell us a little bit, a quick story about this, this lady. Uh, this very nice lady wanted to uh, change her look. She felt like her smile was making her look older than she needed to look. And you can tell the, the vast difference that occurs after uh, we've helped put a new smile on her yeah, face. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, very nice.